hello welcome back endless investments today we got a fun little video as you can see the pin board in the back we're going to try to put some more pins on that today hopefully with some of this goodies uh we've got a whole bunch to talk about uh, we got hero quest we got ufo in space we've got pfps being pushed back we got all kind of good stuff for y'all today so we're just going to be chit chatting and talking while we open some stuff um I have been talking with my friend who works at a military complex, uh, a very well-known U.S.-based military company, and we were just talking, chit-chatting about the um, about the flight, and we were kind of deducing if it was going to be. Well, he was really. I don't really have that kind of skill set, but he was talking to me about how. Um, uh, how long it takes to get to space like uh, he was saying that uh, if it actually went to space not broke the stratosphere you know that kind of stuff getting the nitty-gritty and I did not realize how long it took to, to get something physically into space it, it takes a quite a long time so that's pretty interesting all right guys got some starter decks here what is this I think we got a little extra something I think we did I don't have that card and that one, what is just happening? Okay, so I got these three decks. <laughs> he threw in two more decks, so that was very cool. So shout out to that guy, that was very cool. Uh, it was an eBay buy, I'm trying to figure out which ones these are. Doesn't matter, good playable decks. Um, you know, all these pre-constructed stuff, so they've got great things that you can pull out and modify and stuff. But we got an Elder Matlocks, a Garrison Invader, and the Moak Vampire for a sweet little pickup on eBay. And then the two theme decks in the back. So, very, very cool. That was actually very well received right there. That was awesome. Got a little bit more than expected. That's always nice. All right. Pop this bad boy open. All right, then we got the Hero Quest to talk about. I'm sure that some of you guys are interested in that. They sold some CDs the other day. Man, that website... Poor little website could not handle it. It just, it was just struggling, man. Um, had some, they got it fixed. Now I'm not saying that it was just a total failure, but uh, they did have some issues. Um, people got a little freaked out, thought they weren't going to be able to get it. Uh, but of course, in the end, it did fix as long as you were just there and stayed patient, whatever. There really wasn't a limit on it. Uh, I do, I do have some theories that this was kind of a tool. That they were trying to use to, um, in my opinion, I think Metazoo is kind of trying to flex their muscle and show the world what they can do as an IP. So if you can get, basically, if you can get a song on the Billboard 100 from selling trading cards with it, you've just entered a different realm and strategy for, uh, for selling stuff. Like, that's a totally, you're entering a new ballpark. You're using the IP as a tool to sell other things. It's an amazing tactic. It really is. And I think we're going to see some, uh, a lot of things change out of that. That's a pretty, pretty big deal. All right. Two little things right here. These are just some pin boys to correspond with them again. I uh, already have this one, as you can see, but we got the Mad Gasser in there. And again, some of these people just sell these things for real cheap and will just alleviate their pain, as my grandfather would say. But yeah, very cool stuff happening right now with the zoo. Uh, a lot of people are really screaming the end of the world for it, which doesn't really make sense to me, but whatever. But again, back to the IP thing, uh, if you're selling things with an IP, you've now created a tool, like rather than anything else. It's just like, uh, it's they're really taking, taking on that magic Pokemon mixture. And you're trying to use the IP power of, uh, the IP power of Pokemon with the selling power, well, the playability of magic. I'm not saying that Pokemon's not playable, but I don't really know if you've ever tried to play Pokemon, but it's not an easy game. <laughs> So, we'll see. Alright, got two stone mans. Very, very cool. Which was really weird that they were, so, they were, uh, they made a uh, wild seven onto the, uh, the pins so easily. 
I'm not really the biggest fan of Stone Man. But that's okay. That's okay. You don't have to be a fan of everything. Alright, we'll get these open. We'll get the cards out. I think we had two Stone Men to accompany it. Yeah, very cool. Which is actually pretty cool. I wish it was hollow, but I don't understand. I don't understand why it's why it's a bronze in this one and then it's a wild seven in the other. I don't understand. <laughs> but anyway. Alright, so I'm actually going to sneak by and do something pretty cool and do a little shout out for everybody that a PSA that might not know. Um, there are some new products out in Walmart, which is very cool. They've got a nice little promo in them, and I am super looking forward to the um, to the actual um, Smokey the Bear product they're doing with Target. It's going to be freaking insane. All right, we got some MetaZoo Wilderness hangers. Which is very cool stuff. They were printed incorrectly, as you can see. Uh, do they have the little plastic on them? They do, but they don't go over the top. Uh, the first set has the shrink wrap that kind of crimps uh, these two pieces here and here. Kind of puts a little stretch on them. But you can see they are printed backwards. That is the back and that's the front, but it's been you know, as you would hang it. So, it's very interesting. Comes with the really cool promo card very cool stuff so I like those just want to get those however you can get these on walmart.com for MSRP so check that out before you go pay some scalper or can't find them at your store and freak out so don't worry about it these products are getting out um, let's see what else we have to talk about we have the profile picture stuff coming which that got moved. Uh, the crypto environment is a little hectic right now, so they have decided to push that back. Oh, I'm sorry. I don't know if y'all can hear me. So let me. Oh my goodness. All right. Hold on. Oh my gosh. What is this? <laughs> All right, we got a little squonk pen. Very nice. It's a good thing it's a little damaged box. That's we don't really care. About to put it on there. It's very cool. Very cool. Hear Miss Zoe talking in the background. All right, let's get that bad boy crypt open. So yeah, there's a lot of cool things happening in the zoo space right now. Uh, even more crazier things are happening in the stock market. So kind of beware and beholden of what's happening. Uh, kind of go cash gang right now if you know you had to take a recommendation. Very cool little day of the blue box. Very nice. <coughs> yeah, it's a it's a weird time. Most volatile time in the economic history of the United States, so that's very interesting. Oh, okay, these have been open. I was going to say, I really thought that they were just the pins, and it is. These two are just the pins, but we got a big foot in the flat woods, trying to fill out our little board. We're doing a pretty good job today. All right, and our last thing for the day, this little one right here. Yeah, so uh, stay tuned. The Hero Quest, we got a long way to wait for that. Um, I can tell you for a fact we will be seeing our, um, our Kickstarter cards before we'll be seeing those. So don't be holding your breath for that. Ever. We have our last little thing right here. The Hero Quest stuff is going to be awesome. The only thing that really sucks is the fact that. Uh, it's gonna be in September. Oh man, no big deal. We'll just wait. We're always patient. Kickstarter cards will come. That'll fill us up and satisfy us. You know. All right. Very cool. So we have a Cumberland Dragon, full hollow, and we have the Alt Art pin. Got this for really, really cheap. I don't know how somebody slept on it. So we did get the Alt Art pin, I believe, for the Cumberland Dragon. Very cool. 
And uh, that's pretty much all we've got today. But I did just want to let you guys be informed that there are a bunch of things happening with the zoo right now. And uh, we'll try to keep you guys informed. Alrighty, guys. I guess we'll see you next time. Peace!